Welcome to this tutorial on setting up notifications in Nexus 360. We're just going to log in here to this instance of Nexus 360, which already has a notification set up for demonstration purposes. And as we enter our username and password, this is just example text purely, uh, for example, something that you might want to have in there in regards to protected health information and your hospital policy regarding that, reminding users that they're obliged to keep any information obtained within the system private. So this is how the notification would appear. So we're going to go through and show you how to set up another notification at a user level. So once we've logged in, we just select OK. The lab manager will have the privileges once logged into Nexus 360 to set up these notifications using the Manage menu. And we go down to System Task Notifications. And you can see here that this is the original notification that we saw when we first logged in. This is editable if we go over here and logged in with the appropriate privileges. If we click on this pencil icon and here you can see that it's set up at the user level with a message and I can allocate it by groups, allocate the frequency and the start date. So we're just going to cancel this one and add in a new notification here. This could be a system maintenance notification. This is purely for example purposes. And we're going to add in some text that we'd like to appear when the notification pops up. Once a text has been entered, we'll choose a particular group. Uh, if you don't want it to go to a particular group, you just leave this as it is and all groups will receive the notification. In the case of this, we're going to send this to the lab managers group and we'll send it every time that they log in. And given that this system maintenance hypothetically is going to be between 12 a.m. and 12.30 a.m. on Sunday the 3rd of September, I'd set the start date probably for, let's say, a week prior to that. Let's just set it for Sunday the 27th of August. Okay, and then we'll have it finishing the day afterwards on the 4th of September. So once we've checked through and everything appears okay here, we're all happy with the notifications and the frequencies and uh, that we've chosen. We'll just select create. And you'll see this new notification appear here. So what will happen is come the week beginning of the 27th of August, any lab manager logging in the lab manager group will receive that notification giving them pre-warning that system maintenance is going to occur. Thank you for joining this tutorial.